It's no longer snowing in the Northeast, but the area is now heading into a deep freeze. From Maryland to Maine, record-breaking freezing temperatures are forecast into the weekend. CBS 4's Kenneth Craig is live for us in Boston with more. Kenneth? Well, Elliot, take my word for it. It is downright frigid out here, and what a mess you can see the storm has left behind. This subway station behind me, you can see, uh, was actually flooded from the Boston Harbor during the storm yesterday. It was temporarily closed down. It's back open this afternoon, fortunately, as this cleanup now begins. Massachusetts is frozen over as New England finds itself in the grips of what could be a record setting deep freeze. It's super cold. It's, it's like sharp. The Arctic blast could make temperatures feel as low as minus 35 degrees in some parts of the Northeast. Freeze warnings extend down to Florida where airplanes are being de iced. Very cold. I can't feel my nose. <laughs> The deep freeze comes a day after a massive winter storm paralyzed the region. Here in Boston, there's still plenty of cleanup to be done. More than 13 inches of snow fell, and now officials are concerned what's not cleaned up could turn to ice. The storm hit during high tide, intensified by a supermoon. Icy water from the city's harbor submerged streets downtown and flooded a subway station. If anyone wants to question global warming, just, just see where the flood zones are. Those zones didn't flood 30 years ago. Crews used rafts, high water trucks, and even a front loader to rescue people stranded in their homes. Record flooding stretched up the coast to Maine. Where I grew up and the things, my childhood memories are being washed away. The weather is to blame for at least 19 deaths. More than 100,000 homes and businesses lost power. In New Jersey, firefighters braved the bitter cold to battle a five-building blaze and rescued several people. The water from hoses frozen and likely won't melt for days. And a live look out here, you can see some of these streets near the harbor still have slush on them. And that's a big concern for officials because with this deep freeze and these high winds, all of that could freeze over if it's not plowed soon. At last check, we were hovering about 10, 12 degrees with the wind chills about 10 or 12 below zero, Elliot. Kenneth Craig, try to stay warm. Thank you for that live update from Boston.